Yo, what's good everybody? On YouTube, thank you guys for tuning in back for another video on this channel. And in this video, we're gonna be going over my blank t-shirt rotation. A couple of you guys always ask what blanks I'm always rocking on Instagram, YouTube. So I'm gonna go ahead, go over a couple of brands that I have in the rotation of blank t-shirts. I feel like modern day type fashion is not really about the graphics anymore. It's more about the elevated basics. So let's go ahead, hop into the video. All right, you guys, so before we go ahead and hop into the blanks, I just wanted to say shout out to Dossier for sending a couple of their fragrances over. We're gonna go ahead and talk about the ones we selected, some recommendations maybe you guys may be interested in. So I chose three items, Ari chose one, she didn't know what to choose. I'm gonna let her go first with the fragrance that she selected. So if you guys have a girlfriend out there that wants a good fragrance, maybe this is a good recommendation for you. Okay, I got the Aquatic Peony. It's inspired off of a Giorgio Armani perfume, but I don't know how to pronounce it, so. It smells very like fresh. It's not overly sweet. Oh, I think this really is good. my yeah. favorite one because it's very subtle. It's not like, oh, like nauseous. Yeah, I actually liked it. So I was able to go ahead and pick three uh, fragrances out. So I got one which was inspired off of the Dior Sauvage, which is like, I remember being the, uh, it was the Johnny Depp commercial, thank you B. And then um, I also selected the Woody Sandalwood, which is a Le Labo fragrance inspired. Um, this one's really cool. Le Labo is actually like a very high quality uh, fragrance brand. So it's cool to see some inspired from that as well. My personal favorite is probably going to be this one, which is the Woody basil which is inspired off of a YSL fragrance so if you guys are interested I would definitely recommend checking out Dossier they have high quality fragrances I've worn a couple of the ones that we've done in the past and uh, the woody basil is fire all right so let me tell you guys a little bit about Dossier Dossier reproduces high classic and luxury scents for a fraction of the price keeping the exact same quality by cutting the all expenses and the infamous brand tax. So the one thing I love about Dossier too is if you guys are unhappy with the fragrances that you selected they do offer free returns and exchanges forever and if you guys are interested, make sure to go ahead and use the code down below, which is going to be TV 10 Saves you 10% off off their website. Shout out to Dossier. Let's go ahead, hop into the blanks. All right, so hopping into the first brand for blanks, something that I've been rocking for a little while now. I'm going to go ahead and talk about the brand called Strawberry. We're going to go over pricing, sizing, affordability, and um, whether it's worth the cop or not. I know I've been wearing these for a while now, so I can only say that they're kind of worth it to each their own. I know a lot of people don't like the prices of the strawberry blanks. Talking about strawberry, if you guys don't know about the brand, it's owned by Kai Bent Lee, and he labels these as elevated basics. So each strawberry t-shirt does come uh, pre-distressed on the neckline, the sleeves, and then also the bottom. All right, you guys, so I do have on the strawberry blank right now, something I've been wearing for a while now. Like I said, I do go with a size XL. I'm 5'10", weigh 165. Does fit on a little bit of the oversized type of vibe. Here you guys have it. Nothing too crazy. Overall, the vintage wash has only gotten better within time. So this one is the old strawberry blank right here. And then they moved over to a new blank, which seems a little heavier than the old one. And then also pricing is around the $52 range, I believe, which is kind of a little expensive just for a blank wash t-shirt. But overall, I've been rocking with these for a while now. I have them in multiple different colors, and I feel like this one is just a solid blank to have in the rotation. It weighs in at about uh, 9.8 ounces. Um, so if you guys are interested in these, I know the neckline isn't like super close to the neck. A couple of you guys may care for that. But yeah, first blank, strawberry. I give these a thumbs up just because I've been wearing these for a while now. Moving on to the next brand, the next blank I'm gonna go ahead and talk about is from Mint Crew. I did go with a size large in these and I feel like these do fit a little oversized. All right, so here's the Mint Crew blank. These ones run a little big after just tossing it on. I do need to toss these in the dryer. I haven't dried them yet, but um, as you guys can see, the large does fit me oversized. Maybe just check the size chart on their website. I know Mint Crew just recently added that. And I believe the range for pricing is gonna be around the $40, $50 range. I've been rocking these from time to time and uh, we'll go ahead and weigh this. This one does seem a little lighter than the uh, strawberry blanks. Eight point, just the flat eight ounces. So it's a little lighter of a cotton uh, than the strawberry blanks. So as you guys can see, it's not as heavy as say the strawberry blank, but yeah. All right, so moving on to the next blank. This is the one I actually wore on Instagram as of recently. This is something that I've actually really, really liked a lot as of lately. I know I always have like an oversized t-shirt on and a couple of you guys may ask like, why are my shirts so big? Um, but this one right here is like perfectly oversized, but it also does have like a smaller type of fit. So this shirt is from Feature, which is a brand in Vegas or a store in Vegas. They have two stores in Vegas, one in Calabasas 
and then just opened one up in Scottsdale. So if you guys are interested in shopping there, make sure to go ahead and check it out or also just check it out on the website. This one is called the Corin Tea. I just have this in the tofu colorway right now. And then just recently I did pick up uh, the tan colorway, the wash tea, two versions right here. Also, I got another tofu one and then a green pair, which is under uh, Nori. Super cool colorways. They do have a wide range of colors if you guys are interested in this one. The one thing I like about this blank is it's perfect for the fall winter time just because it's a thicker cotton. And then also I'm sure a lot of you guys are going to like this one because it's closer to the neck. It's not like a bacon loose neck. As far as pricing goes, uh, this one is a little on the pricier side, retailing at $80 just for one t-shirt. But I'm sure you guys will love this in hand because it is a heavier cotton. Uh, but this t-shirt weighs in at 15 ounces, which is a lot heavier than both the Mint Crew and Strawberry Blank. So, all right, you guys. So I'm going to go ahead and toss this on real quick. But I wanted to show the Instagram photo of me wearing the tofu colorway. Um, so this is me wearing it out like on the correct side, I guess. But one thing I forgot to add earlier is that the feature blanks, you can wear them reversible, which is kind of cool. Gives a little detail, um, kind of different vibe to your t-shirt. So I'll toss this on with the reversible side for the washed shirt. I did go with a size XL in this one. Yeah, I wouldn't dry these just because I feel like they trick a lot. All right, last but not least, something I haven't been able to wear test as of lately just because I don't want to go ahead and, you know, get high off my own supply, but something that I really love as of lately, um, other than the feature quarantine, I really love the Flake Studios blanks. So if you guys are interested in these, I've been working on these for a little while now. I have a wash crew neck on the way as well. Um, but this one, I don't have a retail price on. I know I've made these to where they're a little bit oversized. So this one right here I have on is a size medium and I can also wear a size large if I plan on drying it. Um, but this one is just size medium. It does come in white and also a nice little, little light wash. It's not too heavy of a wash, but it does get you know more washed within time. All right, you guys, so I do have on the Flake Studios blank, somewhat similar to the feature one, kind of like a boxier oversized fit. Like I said earlier though, I am wearing a size medium in this one, more for like a standard fit. I could probably wear a large for an oversized um, type of fit. But this one is the washed one right here. And overall, I think it looks good. Just waiting on production to you know, move a little faster. We gotta get the tags in the works. Yeah, but I do plan on selling both of these as a two pack. So if you guys are interested in these, make sure to go ahead and run it down in the comments um, and maybe I'll drop them as soon as possible. But right now we only have two colorways of the Flake Studios blanks. Uh, Brandon's been wearing them and he said that he gives it the stamp of approval. So it's at a 13.4. So nothing too crazy, a good happy medium between all of these. And uh, yeah, so Flake Studios blanks coming soon. Can't be more excited about these, but overall really love the fit and um, yeah. So as far as what I've been rocking as of lately, I guess I'll go ahead and rank these as far as my favorite blanks. So I'm gonna go ahead and put Strawberry first just because I've been wearing them for a while now. This brand is kind of what got me into the whole Elevated Basics type of thing. I'll put Feature second. And then um, I'll put Flake Studios third, just because we haven't released them yet. So I can't really like put them up there. I would love to put mine first, but I haven't been able to release these just because production has been super late. And then we'll put Mint Crew last. Um, and the reason being is just because I just really, you know, what I've been rocking a lot as of lately. So the feature one could probably go first just because I just recently picked up a whole bunch of new colorways and I just loved how that, but we'll see what changes in the fall winter time. And then also I know I have like a basic amount of color right here, but all the brands that we did talk about do come in plenty of different colors. So if you guys are interested in them, they do have a lot of colors on their website. I'll make sure to go ahead and link everyone's website down below in the um, description box. But yeah, that pretty much wraps it up for today's video. Go ahead and follow me on Instagram if you guys are interested as well. Let me know down below in the comment box what blanks you guys are rocking just because I know there's a lot of blank uh, brands out there that sell elevated basics. Thank you guys so much for all the love on the channel. I'll catch you guys in the next one. Y'all have a good one. Peace.